Hello and welcome to the very first intermediate Blitz Plus tutorial by Orange Moon Network. In this tutorial um, we will be continuing with the helicopter game. This is part two of three. Um, so first of all we're going to change how the helicopter flies around. Rather than just using arrows um, we will make it so he moves up when you left click otherwise he goes down. You can just keep it like that or if you want to um, we can leave the left and right arrows so you can also move left and right. It just depends on what kind of a game you want. You can modify it however you like uh, to change it. You don't have to follow exactly what I do but you may get um, errors if you code incorrectly. So first of all we're going to make the background um, move. So rather than just drawing it we'll change it to tile image and what this does is um, it tiles it. So if you move it to the left you will see on the right um, the first half appearing again and also here we'll make a new function called f move images and here what we're going to do is we're going to move the background background x pass equals background x pass minus 5 and this won't do anything because it's just being drawn at 0 so we'll give it an x position we'll just set it as a global and then instead of drawing it at 0 we'll draw it at the variable background x pass the only thing is the variable will keep on going down and if you left it for say days and years it would probably get pretty low number with lots of digits and possibly eventually your computer may crash not saying it would do just just so it doesn't keep on going down um, and there's no possibility of your computer slowing down um, I'm just gonna say if the background x plus is equal to minus 640 because that's the width of it then background x plus equals zero so it just goes back to the start uh, but don't worry it'll still tile it and it'll look the same if we run it let's have a look there now you can see the background's moving backwards it's a bit jerky on the computer just because it's a bit slow but um, now it looks like the helicopter's flying and in more advanced tutorials later on when we come back and enhance this game I will show you how to make the helicopter animated so um, the top of it actually rotates and now we're gonna make the helicopter fly differently so we'll remove these two lines so it can only go left and right you can remove them all if you want uh, if you don't want it to be able to move left and right with the arrows we're gonna, s we're gonna say if mouse down one so that's left click I think two is right click and three is the middle click although I'm not exactly sure it might be the other way around um, just try and see what happens then we're gonna say heli y pos equals heli y position minus five so now if you click it'll go up then we're gonna use else the command so if anything else but that then we're gonna say heli y pass equals heli y pass plus ten so it goes down a bit faster and what we're gonna do um is make it so it can't go off the edge of the screen so we'll just say if heli x pass is smaller than one then Heli x plus equals zero, so it, the only number it can be below one is zero, so it can't go off that side. We'll do if heli x plus is bigger than now, seeing as mine's a hundred wide and it's six forty, it'll be five forty. Heli x plus. I'll we'll just change it three nine, and now if we run it, it should. Yep, there we go. I'm clicking the mouse button and it should not go off the edge of the screen as well. But it's not going off. Um, let's try the other side. Nope. 
Now, final thing is I'm going to make it so you run it and you press enter to begin. Because if you don't, sometimes if your computer's slow, as soon as it comes up, your helicopter won't be on the screen because it'll already have fallen down before your computer could draw it. So, we're just going to have a, a variable called stage. We'll set that as zero. And then here, we're going to use the select command which I have shown you before I think in the last simple tutorial we're going to select and then type stage and then case case one so if it's one then we'll just draw the images we won't move it and we'll say text which is a command at 320 240 that will be the middle of the screen press enter to begin Oop. flying and then comma one comma one that you don't need that on the end but that centers it um, because that's the center screen but I draw it from hit the center onwards so that just centers the text and then we'll say if key hit 28 I found that out from here as you see then the stage equals 2 now case 2 this is going to be the game so we just have all the functions in here left draw images and that is all for now select oh uh, it's two separate words and I could tell that because it was white which would be a variable and now you see they're both commands now if I run it I go press enter. Yep, then it begins. Okay, and if you want to, you can code it. And um, using what I've shown you, you should be able to figure this out how to get it so it doesn't go above the screen or below the screen. Okay, so thank you for watching the first intermediate blitz tutorial. Hope it worked for you. Um, bye.